Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to create a sci-fi environment. We'll be using ANT landscape to create the terrain. This is an add-on that is inside Blender, so let's get started. First of all, we need to enable the add-on in Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and search for landscape. Once enabled, press Shift A, Mesh, and click Landscape. Click this button to open the properties. This add-on has many options to create different kinds of terrain. So click here on Presets, and I'm going to use Canyon and just increase resolution to 300 and also increase mesh size but only on Y axis. Also I'm going to create a water plane. But for now I'm going to hide it by pressing H. I want to use Asset Browser, so in this window I'm going to open it, then in Preferences, File Paths, we need to add the folder with the Blend file. You can find the link down in the description. Then name the library, and now in Current File, select it. Now in Edit Mode, select All Faces by pressing A, then press U and click and wrap. And now just drag and drop the material. I'm going to use this material and open a shader editor. In mapping node we can scale the texture to make it look smaller. We have a mix color here and we can edit the texture with the color ramp. Also we can change the color here. And we have a displacement map, but this map won't work with Eevee, so in render properties I'm going to switch to Cycles, and also I want to use the GPU for rendering. Now switch to Render Preview. In World Properties, add a Sky Texture, and let's lower the Strength to 0.1. With these options, we can change the Lightning, we can edit the Elevation, Rotation, and also the sun size. Now let's see the difference with and without the displacement map. We need more resolution, so I'm going to add a subdivision surface modifier. We can increase the levels for better quality, but be careful because this will increase the polygon count. If displacement doesn't work, Head over Material tab, in Settings, and make sure you have Displacement and Bump enabled, because by default it's on Bump only. Now to get more details on the terrain, we can use Micro Polygon Displacement and Adaptive Subdivision. To do that, in Render Properties, switch to Experimental. And now in the modifier, enable adaptive subdivision. For better quality, go to render properties under subdivision tab. In viewport, I'm going to lower the resolution to 2 pixels. Now increase the scale in displacement node. Edit 
And now we can see that we have more details on the rock. But if this is heavy for your computer, you can go back to Cycle Supported. And now to add the buildings, open Asset Browser again. S to scale and just place the objects. Now let's add a camera. Press 0 on the numpad to go into camera view. To move in this view, press N to open this panel and enable camera to view. Ok, so now let's add a mist, we need to create a cube and scale it up and make sure it covers all your scene or at least the part you want to render. Now open shader editor and create a new material. We need to delete the shader and create a principal volume. Then connect into volume. And now just play with density value. Now let's unhide the plane with Alt H. Let's create a material. Change the color to black. And set roughness to zero. Now with Shift A, texture, and add a moss grip texture. Let's plug into normal and create a bomb node and drop it here. But instead of normal, let's connect into height. And now just increase the scale and lower the strength. Let's create a mapping node. And also a texture coordinate. If you don't have UVs, just connect from generated. Now I'm going to increase the scale, but only on Y axis. To add the spaceship, again open Asset Browser. This is the same process as before, and remember that you can get the assets for free on my Gumroad. And now to create the cables. I'm going to add a curve Bezier in edit mode, delete all vertices by pressing X. Now select draw, enable surface, also only first, and now just draw a line. Let's change to view. Now in Curve Properties, under Geometry, increase Depth. Mm, 
Now we are ready to render the scene, but if you want to render with transparent background, in case you want to add a different background in Photoshop or GIMP, head over Render Properties, under Film, enable Transparent. In Color Management, I'm going to set to medium high contrast. And now just hit F12 to render and then save your image.